Hello, myself Akanksha Velikar. I am here to explain you the project Speech Emotion Detection and Accent Identification, which my I and my team have worked on. My team includes Omkar, Subut, and Anjali Vankhede. Our project guide is Professor Preeti Zoshi. She has guided us for our entire project. So let's move to speech emotion detection and accent identification. Basically, the project is about identifying the emotion and accent of the user from his or her speech. Basically, it can be used in various fields like uh, in medical field for knowing the emotional state of a person or in call center system to recognize the voices and to detect their feedback from the speech and in many other fields. So, let's see the system architecture. The proposed system architecture consists of uh, two models. First is the region identification from the accent. Second is emotion detection. We have used two algorithms. First is MFCC, med frequency substrial coefficient, and second is KNN, that is K nearest neighbor algorithm. For this project, we have considered seven basic emotions, that is happy, sad, anger, disgust, surprise, fear, and neutral. So basically, MFCC is used for extracting the features from the speech of the user. The first module extracts the features from the speech, that is from the recorded audio of the user. Then by considering these features, the accent of the user is predicted, and then further, it identifies the region of the user. Second model further extracts the prominent features from the speech and predicts the emotion of the user. In order to increase the accuracy of the emotion recognition system, to increase the performance of the emotion recognition system, the accent is identified first and then by extracting the prominent features, we identify the emotion of the user. So basically, the from the audio of the user, the region of the user and the emotion of the user is identified and stored in the database. So these are some basic system requirements for running the project. We have implemented this by using Python 3. So these are some of the main modules we have included in our project. Next, the demonstration is explained by my teammate Umkar. Thank you Akanksha for explaining the slides. So now uh, we will start with the demonstration part. So firstly the admin has to register on the uh, register on the uh, portal so that he can use the portal. So here is the admin administration admin registration form. So firstly he has to write a, a username. We can take any username like uh, I will take Omkar then password mobile number the id that the uh, your person who is going to use the id of that person we can take it as a number so it is a number and email address of the person So these are the de these are the details which the admin has to first uh, do to register himself on the portal. When he clicks on the registration, the person is added to the database. So the details of the person who has registered can be seen here in the Excel sheet. After registration, there is a login form. So the admin has to log into this form, and then he can uh, detect the emotion, emotion and the accent of the person. So when I log in with my name, uh, 
so let's begin with the demonstration part of the project now we here we can see a window and on that window there are two buttons that is test speech and cancel so when we click on test speech we uh, get a dialog box from where we can select the file which we want to run now when we select any particular file from here so this is a wave file that is having a speech uh, signal which we are going uh, to uh, extract features and get to know about the emotion and the accent of the person so when we open that file first we get the figure so this figure is the input signal figure so uh, this is basically the input signal which we have got from the uh, speech uh, file or wave file then then uh, this figure is the um, input signal parameters so we can see the uh, signal parameters here and what are the parameters lowest highest amplitude and everything on the terminal here after that we will get a time spectra uh, spectrogram time frequency spectrogram so this is the time frequency spectrogram so what basically the time frequency spectrogram is uh, it tells the when uh, there is the highest frequency of the person in that particular time stamp so like here from one approximately from 1.60 we can say from 1.60 to 2.0 seconds the person has the highest frequency which is seen by this dark patch here and the light patches uh, uh, which are here they tell us about the pauses that he has taken while speaking so depending on this we can uh, identify his his or her emotions and of course we can know the region of uh, re, uh, accent of the person to identify the region then uh, we get uh, the extracted features so these are the extracted features so from the particular uh, speech signal we have extracted almost uh, 200 uh, features and these are the values which are uh, which are having uh, at that particular time sp time stamp uh, having the uh, speed uh, feature number at that particular time stamp so these are extracted feature uh, extracted extracted features and then we can see the uh, emotion of the person that is angry and uh, the accent uh, the accent of the person is north accent so this is the demonstration of project